All our advisors go through quite an intensive training course over a period of six weeks. Um, and they're drawn from um, all, all starters of society, everybody. I mean, across the board, we have a fantastic range of, of people from quite young people, in, maybe in their late teens, early 20s, perhaps students, um, to people who are retired, newly retired, early retirement, just people who have got a bit of time to spare and want to put something back. You need to be enthusiastic, you need to be good at dealing with people, and you need to be interested in what's going on in people's lives. Um, it takes a few months to be fully trained, but um, from experience our advisors come from, from anywhere and everywhere. The training that I got was superb and um, I got a lot of support, I had a lot of really good mentoring and uh, I probably kind of learned more f through that sort of training than you ever do when you do sort of formal qualifications and sort of like community education etc which have been my background you know so it was just uh, so you know rich in terms of the actual information. There's a tre tremendous amount of information that you need to pick up and absor absorb. Fortunately you don't have to carry all of that around in your head with you. There's a very good uh, information system on the computer here which we um, tap into regularly. We're encouraged to do so uh, and the support network from the other advisors and indeed the management is pretty good too. So you're never on your own here, there's always somebody to ask or to, uh, to lend a hand if you need it. I'm Steve, I've worked as a journalist advisor at the, uh, the Bureau in Dundas Street in Edinburgh uh, for about two years. I did the training um, as, as part of a group of about 20 people. Uh, it was 10 weeks of training, one day a week and it was extremely comprehensive and very helpful in preparing us to be an advisor. We are backed up in the Bureau with a, a very comprehensive and complex advice system. It's multi-layered in that it consists of uh, an on online resource called AdvisorNet, which is built to cover all the Bureau in the British Isles, um, but it's also tailored for, for Scottish legislation and, and Scottish clients. So. AdvisorNet is, our, is our, usually our first line of call when we're looking for information for clients and that's backed up by, um, as you'd expect, uh, paper publications, books, articles and um, information from government agencies and also from other charities. You can find basically most things that people ask, you can find the information on AdvisorNet and be able to give people at least a bit of a starting place and help them formulate some questions and find out who maybe a specialist person is to sort of take to further their inquiry if that if that's needed. What we do here is we don't actually go in and say right don't worry about this I'll sort it for you. The, the important thing for us is to actually try and enable people to do it for themselves. At any moment somebody can come through the door in an absolutely terrible state and you know you have to sit with them patiently, gain the information from them, try and work out the emergency stuff from the stuff that can be dealt with over time. Um, and the wonderful thing from an advisor's point of view is, um, you know, every day is different, every, every week, every afternoon or morning that you come in here, you're faced with completely different challenges. Everybody's different, there's no ordinary client, there's no kind of standard set of advice that you give. And of course what the client's expecting when you come here is that, you'll be able to help them whatever their query is, whatever situation that's in. It's hard to say what's typical but it's, it's definitely busy all the time and it's always always on the go. It could be benefits, it could be income tax, it could be employment, it could be housing, anything and it's variety of life. You are learning things every day you go away like knowing something that you didn't know. One of the good things about it is that there's always lots of people around who can give you advice. You know, if, if it's an employment yeah. issue, there's a bit of luck, you've got an employment specialist you at, can at hand. Go and ask someone else for yeah, that. Or a yeah, or housing, there's a housing specialist. And everyone you ask is always more than happy to give, give their advice. Yeah, they're all nice people, easy to get along with, and it's quite a relaxed atmosphere as well, obviously because most people are volunteers. Well, everybody's really friendly, which is nice. I would say it's just a big family. Everybody knows everyone and they not only care about the clients but also about the lives of each other. <laughs>